Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our preparation of an alpha beta unsaturated ketone experiment. In this experiment, we'll combine two important synthetic reactions to prepare an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. The first step in this synthesis is a Michael addition or a sodium hydroxide catalyzed conjugate addition of ethyl acetoacetate to trans chalcone. The second step of the synthesis is a base catalyzed aldol condensation reaction in which the aldol intermediate is dehydrated to form the alpha beta unsaturated ketone. Let's get started. We will begin by adding 0.24 grams of finely ground trans chalcone to a 10 milliliter round bottom flask. The mass of trans chalcone that we will be using is 0.2427 grams. I've added the trans chalcone to the 10 milliliter round bottom flask, and we next need to add approximately 0.15 grams of ethyl acetoacetate to the same 10 milliliter round bottom flask. The mass of ethyl acetoacetate that we will be using is 0.1782 grams. We will next add the ethyl acetoacetate, five milliliters of absolute ethanol and a boiling stone to the 10 milliliter round bottom flask. We will then swirl the flask until most of the solid has dissolved. We will next add 0.25 milliliters of 2.2 molar sodium hydroxide solution to the mixture. We will then attach a water-cooled condenser to the 10 milliliter round bottom flask and heat the mixture to reflux using an aluminum block and a hot plate. Once the mixture has been brought to a gentle boil, we will continue to reflux the mixture for at least one hour. During this reflux, the mixture will become very cloudy. After the reflux period and allowing the mixture to cool the room temperature, we will next add two milliliters of deionized water and scratch the inside of the flask with a glass stir rod. We'll then place the flask in an ice bath for 30 minutes. After crystallization is complete, we will collect the crystals by vacuum filtration on a Hirsch funnel. We'll use one milliliter of ice cold water to aid in the transfer, and then use one milliliter of ice cold 95% ethanol to rinse the round bottom flask and complete the transfer of the remaining solid from the flask to the Hirsch funnel. We will next transfer the crystals from the Hirsch funnel to a weigh boat and dry the crystals in an 80 degrees Celsius oven for 30 minutes. If needed, you may dry the crystals overnight. The solid product contains some sodium hydroxide and some sodium carbonate, which will be removed in the next step. I've transferred the solid product from the weigh boat to a test tube, and we're next going to add three milliliters of acetone and stir the mixture with the spatula. Most of the solid will dissolve in the acetone, but do not expect all of it to dissolve. We will next use a pasture pipette to transfer the liquid to a centrifuge tube. Try to leave any solids remaining in the test tube behind. The solids left behind in the test tube are inorganic materials related to the sodium hydroxide 
which was originally used as the catalyst. We will then centrifuge the acetone extract for two to three minutes until the liquid clears. During the centrifugation, we will pre-weigh a new dry test tube. The mass of the pre-weighed test tube is 8.0045 grams. This is what the acetone extract looks like after centrifugation. We will next transfer the clear acetone extract to the pre-weighed test tube. We will next evaporate the acetone solvent by carefully heating the test tube in a hot water bath while directing a stream of air into the tube. Once the acetone has evaporated, you may be left with an oily solid in the bottom of the test tube. If this is the case, you need to scratch the oily product with a spatula to induce crystallization. The mass of the pre-weight test tube plus the partially purified product is 8.3274 grams. I've transferred the partially purified product from the test tube to a 10 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, and we will now perform a recrystallization of the product using a minimum amount of boiling hot 95% ethanol. After the solid has dissolved, we will allow the flask to cool the room temperature and induce crystallization by scratching the inside of the flask. After the flask has cooled to room temperature and crystallization has been induced, we'll place the flask in an ice bath for 15 minutes to complete crystallization. After crystallization is complete, we will collect the crystals by vacuum filtration on a Hirsch funnel. We will use ice cold 95% ethanol to aid in the transfer of the crystals. As our crystals continue to dry, we will pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.4445 grams. We will next collect the crystals on the pre-weighed watch glass and then dry them for 30 minutes in an 80 degrees Celsius oven. After drying, the mass of the pre-weighed watch glass and the purified product is 35.7105 grams. We will now perform a melting point determination of the purified product.
Okay, students, you can now calculate the percent yield, determine the melting point, and analyze the infrared spectrum of our purified product. This concludes the preparation of an alpha-beta unsaturated ketone experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.